吧。Eagle Valley Outfitters, hunting or fishing, archery or firearm, boots, bullets, or bait casters. You can get it all at Eagle Valley Outfitters, M13 and Worth Road, Pinconning. And by Hopkins Trophy Whitetails in Sears, Michigan. At Hopkins, they know a successful hunt's about more than just pictures. They truly believe every hunter should live their own dream. Even if they dream big, that's Hopkins Trophy Whitetails in Sears, Michigan. And by Plowman's Carts, makers of the Hunting Buddy Custom Cart. Plowman's, where we turn work into play. And by Buck Fever Synthetic Scents and Vanishing Hunter Odor Control Spray. If you still don't believe that the Buck Fever Synthetic Scent System can actually make bucks hunt you, that's okay, they didn't believe it was synthetic either. That's Buck Fever Synthetics. And by viewers like you, thank you. Well, hi friends, welcome to the program. As you can probably tell by seeing my breath, yeah, she's a tad bit chilly here on our bend in the river. Still, we're gonna do everything we can to try to warm you up a little. We're actually gonna take you out on a springtime pike fishing trip up in Ontario, Canada. We're headed up to see our good friends, Eric and Sue Lund, everybody up at Esnagami Lodge. And for you frequent flyers, yeah, you know we go there every chance we get. It's not just the accommodations, you know, or the great people. They really have some pretty good fish in there, too. And you wouldn't be a bit surprised, I don't think, if you knew that this was actually Miss T's idea. You see, this is one of her favorite places in the whole world, and it's where she said she wanted to go to celebrate our 31st wedding anniversary. Well, we threw everything in the big red truck. We headed up there. We were gonna do some walleye fishing and you're gonna see that in the weeks to come, but first we decided we'd do a little pike chasing, one of my personal favorites. Hey, I'm your host, Kyle Randall. This is my Wilderness Journal and friends, we're headed north to Ontario for some big time toothy critters right now. While driving north, Miss T and I will occasionally stop and do the tourist thing. You know, the bays of Lake Superior are gorgeous when it's calm but I'm pretty sure I wouldn't want to be on them in a small boat when they're not. And once we get to the float plane base, well, we load all our stuff on a plane with our good friend Greg over at Nikina Air. And after the quick 10 minute flight into the lodge, well, yeah, it's never more than an hour before Eric has us stuffed in a boat and well, we're out fishing. And that first morning on the lake, it didn't take us 20 minutes and... Oh, there's one. Over there. Mr. Pie, look at here. Mr. Youngster. Oh! He says, yeah, ain't through something. He says, yeah, I'm bad. I'm bad news. Don't mess with me. There. I like them guys in Everett. They'll tell you, I'm not bad, but the bad don't mess with us. Yeah. <laughs> Think he's done? Mm, nah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's what I thought. Oh, no, don't hide under the boat. Come here. Don't do it. I see that looking. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna jump right up here and hang on my nose. That I'd like to see. Yeah, I bet you, ooh, and hooked good, too. Yeah. <laughs> How's that for timing? It's everything. That's a nice starter kit, but we're looking for his great grandma. We'll put him back and let him grow another 15, 20 years. Put him in right there. Thanks for coming out, you know, and playing our game. <laughs> so, uh, how's that fly working? Good. Good. Those of us who are catching fish appreciate the mastery and the skill and the, the in the true poetry and motion that 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 fly fishing uh, seems to possess we're kind of more interested in that triple loop around the tiller of the outboard though <laughs> are we having difficulties not at all no we're we're having a lot of fun you're making spaghetti 
<laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Give me some of that, too. <laughs> Smile, you're on oh, camera. Oh, yeah. There Whoa. is big fish. Look at that. How's that for timing, huh? That is uh, <laughs> Call be them better. in while the camera's rolling. That doesn't get no better. Whoa. Doesn't seem to like what he's got a hold of out there. Whoa, whoa. He's not finished yet either. Not a bad fish on any kind of equipment. <laughs> Fly rod, gulp. What do you think, T? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's a little bit beat up. Looking like the laundry is getting a little rough in the dryer. <laughs> All right. Ah. Oh, not a bad few minutes with a northern pike. Okay, fella, what do you think? Just like that. That's not bad for a, you know, beginner. Yes, that's true. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take that anytime. Well, nice fish. Thank you very much. That was a lot of fun. Suppose on a fly get... rod, you remember? We were talking about that. It was, huh? <laughs> I heard something beating around in the bottom of the boat. <laughs> Yeah. You suppose you could do that again? I'm gonna try. That warmed me up too. Well, I think it's nice. And friends, you gotta know if Eric catches a fish. Yeah. What's that noise? The fish. Sure. Maybe like we better slow him down before you're out of, out of string there. Trust me, he's down there. Keep reeling, he will show up. Oh yeah, I just saw him show up. Oh, oh, oh. Eric, we're gonna need to cradle. You might as well start getting there. Oh! oh. Oh, you have no idea. Oh, I hope I got some of that. Uh, Holy smokes, there goes the nervous shiner. It is gone. Oh, no. <laughs> he pulled the clevis right open, didn't he? Look at that. Jerked it right open. Holy smokes. I'm sorry, honey. That was a smoking big fish. Big fish. What do you think? Having fun yet? No. Woof, did you get, at least get a chance to see it? Yeah, no? I did, I did. I saw it turn back. Huge. Sometimes the big one really does get away. Still, you know, T, she took it real well. Kinda. You know, we're not leaving until we get my shiner back. It could be a while. Then we have apples. <laughs> hey, at least she didn't throw her fishing rod in the water. And speaking of fishing rods, you know, the next day we all decided to use fly rods to go after those pike. Of course, my idea of a fly rod and Eric's, they're not exactly the same, no. Now I know that some of the more elitist type fishermen tend to look down their nose at my kind of fly rod, but hey, yeah, it works for me. There he is right there, a starter. Oh yeah. Come on now. Come on, come on. You want to say hi? You ain't that big? Hey, that's a starter nice. kit. That's nice. That's a, a real good fish in a lot of places. It's just a, a real good beginning mm. you got it. Okay. for uh, Esnagami. But hey, us amateurs will take it. <laughs> the uh, the Lord of the Fly back there was kind enough to let us catch these smaller ones. He said they're really just a nuisance to him. So. We'll put him back. I uh, I got that on a number 18 Adams done a merger. Mm -hmm. One of those little bugs. Actually, I think I squashed one on the back of my hand and then I, I hooked that on a big paddle tail. So <laughs> you see, Eric is fishing for pike with a fly rod and. Well, I'm just not being real supportive. No. <laughs> now, friends, you know how sometimes you should be just a little careful what you say? 
I know you're going to say that's just a moving rock. I'm sure it is. And that this is a buggy whip. You can't catch a pike on a fly rod. Did I say that? <laughs> I meant it. How about two <laughs> dozen dimes today? <laughs> yeah, that's a good rule. Right there. I need to. I can't. I can't see him. Are you sure there's a fish there? Whoa. Okay. Let me. Uh, that is a big nice. fish. Yeah, we do have a cradle somewhere. Right here. We? You want it? Oh, I don't know. Let's see if I can stick my hand down and grab him. How's that working? Well, if I could get my hand Cut. around him, not bad. But oh, quit showing off. Uh, he went right down in the mud. Yeah, you? he did. Uh, there. How about that? Not too bad. <laughs> Wow. Would you like to take your fish now, sir? Holy moly. Isn't <laughs> what a, that something? That is a monster. Beauty. Wow. wow. Look at that pike. A dandy, that is, sir. That is Let's a dandy. do a little... Uh, I may need the jaw spreaders. I'm going to uh, 37 at the bottom jaw. Let me get her back in now. I think. I think you're ready, are you? There you go. I think bye she's bye. seen enough of you. Wow. That was awesome. Well, <laughs> congratulations, well, I guess. Thank you very much, yes. <laughs> no, that was much. a dandy. A dandy fish. Whew. And well, a real her. workout on that buggy whip. Oh, I'll tell you. They're a workout on anything. On those, uh, on the fly rod, that is fun. And that's why we do it. It's fun. There you go. That's all it's about. Didn't look like a brook trout to me. <laughs> well, after sitting there and watching Eric have all that fun, well, you had to know T'd be up in casting, and friends, it wasn't 15 minutes later. She threw up by the shore, reared back, and set the hooks. Oh, Ooh, that's a nice fish. Whoa! I don't think that fish likes the look of Eric at all. <laughs> he looked up, saw his face, and said, I don't think so, mister. He probably just doesn't want to come in for something. <laughs> look at that big old bucket mouth. What do you think? That could be a good one. <laughs> okay, bring him in now. He's ready. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to bring him in. No! I don't think he likes you. Oh, maybe he does. Here he comes. He can come by and say hi. Okay. How's it going? It's doing okay. He's coming up Well, look air. at that. Whoa, that is a nice fish. Where is that? Okay. Huh. I told you he didn't like Eric. <laughs> <laughs> that is a big fish. Oh. Whoa, Tina. Yay! That's a beef. That's a beefcake right there. What's this? It's a good thing Eric put that new longer tape measure in the boat. Yeah. 36? 36 at the bottom of the lower jaw. There you go. <laughs> that is a dandy. <laughs> what do you think? Wow. It's gorgeous. Nicely done. What a beautiful oh. fish. I guess. Woo. Explain to me again why I gave you that spoon. Because <laughs> I'm stupid. Your mistake. <laughs> 36 inches. She's ready. All ready. There she goes. Well, nice job, you guys. Slime me. <laughs> nice fish. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, I got my new rain gear all full of slime now. Oh, well, that's well, okay. It was worth it. Well done. Thank you. Nice fight. Good that thing job. just fought like crazy. Yep. <laughs> wow. They're strong. Huh? Yeah, they are. They're they're tough little things, aren't they? Oh, big thing. Big thing. That was a tough, big, big bike. You get back to work. All right. <laughs> Sounds good. Let's try that again. Why not? Well, that fish made Tina and Eric even again, more or less. And then, yeah, Aww. did I mention she's a bit competitive? Yeah. What? Log. Log. Snag. <laughs> no fish. Is he done? No. <laughs> no, not just yet. There he is. That's not a bad fish, girl. He's cutie, huh? Well, I mean, he's not in the same class as the last one you got, but he's pretty decent all the same. He is. Still cutie. Oh, that's a nice looking fish. T 
Tina. He just let your fish go. That's okay. I got the <laughs> approval from corporate to do that. Ah, the word came down. Yep. Oh, well, good job. Nice done. Thank you. You are get. You are wearing that lure out. What lure? Shh. <laughs> what, what are you talking about, huh? <laughs> That's quite a fly. What is that? Is that a? Is that a? Grasshopper pattern? What do, you, what do you call that? Okay. Okay. <laughs> As you can plainly see, fishing for a pike with a fly rod actually works. And the truth is, it's actually kind of fun. So much so that the next day, I actually used a real one. Yeah, at least for a while. That next morning, Eric motored us into a fairly calm bay, and then he jabbed his fly rod into my hand, and he said, look, if you don't want to walk home, you're going to take this and you're going to get up there and you're going to catch a fish. It's not that hard. And friends, it must not be because... Was a little fish actually tried? There he is. All right. Uh, Kyle Randall catching a northern on a fly rod. There is a god. Now friends, just for the record, I have to admit it's a riot to catch pike on a fly rod. Just do me a favor and don't tell Eric I said so, okay? <laughs> and there he goes right there. Well thanks for the loan of the fly rod, that was kind of fun. Just a, another way to catch pike here. You look pretty good doing that too. You were right. I have to admit it. I, I, I concede to your expertise. It, it was fun. Well, thank you. It's something that, if you know me, I don't do much of. But I tell you right now, if Kyle Randall can catch a pike on a fly rod, anybody can do this. That was, that was, yeah, that was fun. It really was. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll give you your mule skinner back, and you can show us how to catch the big ones. Well, there you have it, friends. Kyle Randall fly fishing. No, it ain't pretty, is it? Yeah, even the loons were laughing at my pathetic technique. Still, just think, if I can do it, how easy would it be for normal people? Yeah, and speaking of normal. Later that morning, Eric had spotted a real nice pike just laying up in the shallow, so he started flicking a line out there, and pretty quick, Oh, and one other thing, if you're going to fly fish for pike, I suggest yeah, bring lots of leaders. <laughs> right around here. Oh. I screwed down the, the drag twice. And neither time, I haven't seen it even come up yet. Yep. When it does, it's going to be scary. Oh yeah, it appears to be a pike. Yes, it does. This appears to be a big, 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 large fish. The Essox Lucius clan. Yeah, I think it looks like that. That may not work for lunch tomorrow, Kyle. I'm thinking this could be pike nuggets for everybody. This thing is huge. Whoa. Big fish. Can you bring it over here where I can grab it? <laughs> I'll try. She's got a mind of her own. Most of them Coming do. Coming at oh, even. And the big ones are all female. Yes, they are. Yeah. With a mind of their own. Don't go under that rock. Let's move it some water. Yeah, that's a splooser. No, it's not going to work either. You don't like that either? No. How about no. no. no? You're not impressing me at all. <laughs> There, that fish is in the cradle. <laughs> oh, what do you think? Yeah, it is. The thing has got a look at the size of that. <laughs> wow, you're breathing heavy. That uh, that was pretty near like work right there. <laughs> you know the tension level. Yeah. <laughs> it just every time it come past the boat and it was hooked up here. And, and and come free and then it caught again back here. I can't believe we got that fish in the boat. I just that's amazing. That thing is a toad. Wow. 
Don't hurt yourself lifting that now. This thing's 30 pounds. It's got to be. Oh. The thing is just a horse. Look at this. Pile. Here's some slime. That Thank is a, you. That is a, a wide body. Big isn't it? fish. Look at that thing. At the risk of breaking my hand, I'm going to try and lift her out of there. Ugh. Ladies and gentlemen, if you need another reason <laughs> to call Eric and Sue Lunn up at Esnagami Lodge, here's about 30 pounds worth of reason right here. This fish is a monster. And I got to tell you, I couldn't have done it without my lovely bride, Tina. Happy anniversary, babe. Happy anniversary, hon. <laughs> we'll be celebrating 31 years tomorrow, and I couldn't think of a better place to do it, and I certainly couldn't think of a better set of fishing partners to share it. Folks, the sun is going down, but uh, my spirits couldn't be higher. Thank you again, T, and thanks again, Eric. What a, what a great fish. Man, thank you, Lord. What a thing, the northern pike. We're going to get her back in here. Get her warmed up. She's getting ready. Yeah, she says, I got enough. There she goes. Yep. <laughs> no falling. I know. No swimming. Did you see the size of those fish? Yes. No swimming. <laughs> Thank you again, sir. You are the man nicely done the good lord he likes me wow that is <sighs> to hang that fish and then to have that hook pull and come back and hook it again is just one in a million <sighs> <laughs> we may get we'll have to give you a little ride home i'm gonna need a a defibrillator that's <laughs> that pike fishing it is nagami lodge that ought to be enough Friends, that fish was huge. Easily one of the biggest we've ever caught up at Esnagami. And I say we because I mean we. It takes everybody doing their part and doing it well in the middle of a fire drill to land and release a fish like that unharmed. You know, we've caught a ton of big fish up there, but I promise you, we're gonna remember that one for a long, long time. This fish is a monster. Well, the people, the place, the fish. Yeah, there's a lot of reasons T and I keep going back to Esnagami. And I wanna say before I forget, thanks to my lovely bride, Miss T, not only for letting me catch the big one this time, but for the absolute gift that the last 31 years of our marriage has been. Friends, you gotta know, I appreciate all that we do together. And I certainly appreciate all that the folks up at Esnagami Lodge do for the both of us. Thanks to Eric and Sue, the whole staff, you treat us so wonderfully. And I hope you know, too, that we hope to see some of you up there throwing a line and hooking up a big old toothy critter of your own. And if we do, well, we're going to stop, share a fire, a shore lunch, and a cup. And if we don't see you up there, well, then I truly hope to see each and every one of you right back here for another episode of my Wilderness Journal. Thanks again, Eric and Sue Lund, all the staff, everybody up at Esnagami Lodge. What a great trip. The Wilderness Journal is underwritten by Eagle Valley Outfitters, Hunting or Fishing, Archery or Firearm, Boots, Bullets, or Bait Casters. You can get it all at Eagle Valley Outfitters, M13 and Worth Road, Pinconning. And by Hopkins Trophy Whitetails in Sears, Michigan. At Hopkins, they know a successful hunt's about more than just pictures. They truly believe every hunter should live their own dream. 
even if they dream big. That's Hopkins Trophy Whitetails in Sears, Michigan. And by Plowman's Carts, makers of the Hunting Buddy Custom Cart. Plowman's, where we turn work into play. And by Buck Fever Synthetic Scents and Vanishing Hunter Odor Control Spray. If you still don't believe that the Buck Fever Synthetic Scent System can actually make bucks hunt you, that's okay. They didn't believe it was synthetic either. That's Buck Fever Synthetics. And by viewers like you, thank you. If you'd like more information about anything you've seen on the journal, just check out our website at wildernessjournal.com. Or you can write to us at Box 320, Paris, Michigan, 49338. You can also see Couch Camo and all our other pro staff gear on the website. Closed captioning for the journal made possible by Vanishing Angler Odor Control Spray. Taxidermy provided by Mike Butler of True North Taxidermy. Original score and music by Mr. Dave Dalton. Website designed by Scott Shea of s &J Design. And a special congratulations to Miss Lauren Hubner. She was the winner of the hunt at the Michigan Law Enforcement's Torch Run fundraiser. Hey, nice dear Lauren.